Welcome, Vintage Time, Wednesday night. We get to finally try a brand new Magic the Gathering card. Boom! Well, <laughs> I say brand new, but this card came out a long time ago, and they just never coded it onto Magic Online. So, like, new for me. Um, <laughs> we're going to play some Maddening Hex tonight. Um, the only place I really found... Like, I'm not exactly sure where Maddening Hex slots in in Vintage. The biggest problem with it is it costs red, red. Historically, lots of decks do not do not have the ability to uh, produce red, red. Even this deck, which is mono red, has a hard time producing <laughs> red, red. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is we're going to try out that old uh, mono red stoppy shell that I was working on um, maybe a month or two ago now. And theoretically, with our Ragavans and our Fables and our Chrome Moxes, yes, we're going to play some Chrome Moxes, that should help our uh, casting of the Maddening Hex. Now, I do think Maddening Hex is theoretically strong in Vintage. Lots of people casting lots of non-creature spells. Um, we're going to have to see how it plays up against, you know, Vigor and, and, and other decks in the format. But this is, um, this is probably the closest place to a home that Maddening Hex currently has without building its own shell around it. Uh, so yeah, it's a stompy deck. It's very similar to the uh, Legacy version. It has kind of similar deck building philosophies. We're going to try to use our Ancient Tomb City of Traders and Moxin to accelerate us to a three mana play on turn one. Uh, we also obviously have access to Ragavan, which was somehow banned in Legacy. Um, and this should be interesting. And then I think Fable is like the real card that makes this deck more playable than it was in the past and the reason is because you just get to pitch excess lands or excess um you know uh redundancy excess excess ragavans um excess moon effects you just get to actually have some kind of uh hand fixing in your deck that typically wouldn't have that uh, another big draw to this deck is you get to play fury uh i know that vintage is less of a creature format than others and uh but fury has just overperformed every time i've ever put it in a vintage deck uh, it's very much surprised me how many creatures there are to kill right now, uh, and I think that is somewhat due to the fact that Urza Saga exists in the format, uh, but the format just seems extremely creature dense at the moment, and this card is the probably greatest anti-creature card ever printed, so yay, Modern Horizons. I also managed to sneak a Shivan Devastator in here. Uh, theoretically, this card is nice in this kind of deck because it scales really well with our Tombs, uh, Moxen, and City of Traders. But, you know, it's, you know, it's it's kind of bland, vanilla. Uh, so we're going to have to see if it actually does anything inside of this sweet deck. Um, we are trying some shenanigans in the sideboard. This is a card that had a lot of people talking about it when it was initially printed. Uh, how good would it be in Vintage? You know, very great against Mishra's Workshop. Every turn you get to kill their artifact. Uh, it ended up not ever really coming to fruition. I know Brian Kelly plays it sometimes, but... Brian Kelly is not a representative of the entire Ventures format. But theoretically, it will work really nicely with our Fable. It gives us cards to pitch that can come back when we need them. And maybe uh, with our, all of our excess mana, the casting cost isn't actually a huge deal. So yeah, that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to play Mono Red Stompy and see how it goes. Exciting news, everyone. I have just launched a new Patreon. There, you can show support for my content, grab additional weekly metagame recommendations, and even submit a donation deck list. Donation deck lists are the most frequently asked question on my channel, and I feel I'm now ready to support this new content. Please check out the rules for submissions on the Patreon link in the description, and thank you for your continued support of my channel. Let's battle. Okay, here we go. First round, of course. Absorbing three. Let's see what we can do. What do I have? Oh my god. <laughs> this hand. If we don't get Force of Vigored, it's a hell of a draw. <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. How have I been so lucky with these hands? It's crazy. Okay, so uh, let's think about our sequencing here. So if we were to play Soul Ring, Ancient Tomb, and Black Lotus, we're going to have 
not enough mana to play our Ragavan, right? We'll have three colorless and three red. But maybe we just don't play a Ragavan. We just hope that Fable and Maddening Hex get there. God, imagine getting Force of Vigor. Imagine if we got... This is, unfortunately, like... Maddening Hex is not exactly a good card against Absorbent 3. Um... Hmm. I think we're just supposed to play our enchantments and call it a day and just hope we don't get vigored. Uh, I guess we were probably supposed to just play Fable before Soul Ring so that we didn't get Mind Break Trapped, but... We can still play this Ragavan next turn if this Fable resolves, because we'll have a, tre a treasure, right? I definitely dislike the way I sequenced this. I think Black Lotus, Ancient Tomb, Fable would have been a smarter play. Also helps us play around Mental Misstep. So, like, obviously quite bad sequencing, I think. Uh, all right. Oh, hold on. I gotta. Whenever enchanted player casts a non-creature spell, roll a d6, deal damage to that player equal to the result, then attach maddening hex to another one of your opponent. Okay, attach to the opponent. All right, cool. We're doing it. F6. <laughs> I guess we technically can't play our ragavan until after our goblin shaman token attacks. I guess we can loot, though. So maybe we'll be able to find a red source by looting away our chrome mox or something. No! Wait, wait! No, opponent! Oh, no. They did have bigger, but they just didn't wait. They didn't want to take the six, I guess. Oh, no. They got real scared of the six damage, I guess. <laughs> they had the vigor and the ignoble high arc. All right, I drew a Fury. I think I'm going to put the... Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to attack... What if they play a Collector Roof, though? I guess it's fine. I think I'm going to try to hard cast the Fury. So I think I'm just going to attack with the Shaman and then pass... Well, I guess, theoretically, we could just play the Ragavan, and that represents the same amount. Mm, maybe not. Because I might want to put the Ragavan... No, I think we'll just play the Ragavan. Maybe this is silly. God, this is one-sided? It's nuts. Well, I'm thinking they might just, like, play a Collector Roof and... Or, like, maybe they play a Tarmogoyf, and then I can't get in with the Ragavan. But then I guess we could just draw... Okay. <laughs> they have so many... and this, this matchup is not good for me. <laughs> I mean, the Fury part of this matchup is great for me, but the fact that my opponent has so many answers to enchantments is crazy. I guess typically they're for artifacts, but they just hit... This is actually a really big... Uh, it's, a, it's a really good example of why you can't really play enchantment based deck someone asked me to play enchant enchantress recently uh it's really hard when vigor exists and everyone's gunning for artifacts and they kind of uh get splash damaged all right i'm gonna just attack with both of these and then this maddening hex has done actually nothing because the force of vigor was before it so maybe they were just smart <laughs> Oh my god, it's the it's the Yavamaya Iconoclast. I don't know why they want to play this card. Uh, but they do. They do. Oh my lord. Should we just play it? No, I'm just going to play a Fury here. Uh, I'm going to lose my Maddening Hex, but I think getting rid of their Gaia's Cradle Mana is just correct. This is like... it's So I've seen the list that my opponent plays because... Um, Somebody like surgical them or something. 
in the Discord. So I've seen the list, and the rest of the list is perfectly fine. It's just this card. Like, the rest of this list is, like, pretty... They didn't activate and kill my Maddening Hex. Okay. All right. Uh, Absorbing 3's play today has been less than ideal, but... No, I, I don't know them. Fury is so good against their deck. So hold on. We can find the list, actually. I can show you the list, just because it's very interesting. Uh, oh, no. Now we're Maddening Hexing. How much do they take? How much do they take? How much do they take? Three damage. I like it. All right, they're off it. <laughs> Hold on, where's the where's the deck list? It's, I thought there was. I swear the deck list was in chat somewhere. Is it in other? Where is it? I swear someone posted it recently. Hmm. Oh, I found it. I found it. Okay. Here, here is uh, here's what we're playing against, theoretically. And of course, they could always have changed cards. Um, and like, this is post board versus an artifact deck. It looks like, seeing as there's seeds of innocence in the deck, and nature's claim and grudge. And oh my god, <laughs> this is so much artifact hate. Holy crap! All right, there's a choke. I love it. Just red green, red green stompy almost. All right, uh, I'm going to bring in zero Magic the Gathering cards because I have four Furies already in my deck. That's why I was actually, when we played the PO deck versus it, I was really scared. I was really scared because I think that theoretically that deck should be very good against PO. Not good against Fury though. I don't, we can't bring in any of these cards, right? They we just can't. We just, like these are these are the cards we came to game with. Okay, right, cool. I want to game with these cards again. <laughs> well, I think that was a post board screenshot. To be fair, I don't think they have that much artifact hate in the main. So, oh my god, these hands are great. Keep. It's kind of interesting that the no 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 the iconoclast is not good. That's the that's the one card that they play that I don't think is like has value. Like root mage looks silly, but I think root mage actually does do a powerful effect that's unique. Um, but the icon the kind of the kind of class thing is not very good. Uh, I could, but it feels like bringing in additional artifacts and enchantments doesn't make a lot of sense. But maybe. Ooh, nice sapphire. Um, I think I'm just gonna play Ruby City Fable. I guess that exposes me a little bit to vigor. I guess. Just my most powerful play, right? I think I want to hold on to this Fury and maybe play it on turn two. I'm pretty sure the, the way we win this matchup is just cast Fury once. Like, my opponent's deck is good against combo, but it's real bad against Fury. What art is this mountain? It should be a Euro land, I think. It's got the MTGO symbol, so... It should be a Euro land. Or an APAC land? No, no, they, they don't have APAC lands on... MTGO. I think it's a Euro land. Opponent's mana is a little a little tight. All right, Cinder. Like this is what I'm saying. They have so much hate. My poor Fable. I did that. This has not been a good look for Fable. It's okay, because we're just going to cast a bunch of Furies and win the game that way. I 
I don't think a single Fury is remotely beatable. <laughs> this card is really strong, even when it's not doing the broken thing. When it's just coming into play as a 3-3 double striker, it's like, whoo. Oh, it's going to hurt. I can cast another Fury this turn, too. Maybe I'm just supposed to cast Maddening Hex. Uh, probably just supposed to cast Maddening Hex. That way they can't jump block next turn. What is this? No! <laughs> the value! Uh... All right, I'll just cast. I'll cast Hex, I guess. I don't know. I, I guess you could cast Monkey. I feel like if my opponent, if I had cast Maddening Hex, my opponent would have Lightning Bolted my Fury in response, seeing as they were very keen to Lightning Bolt my, or to Vigor my thing before Maddening Hex came, came down. Uh-huh, okay. So, the Saga tokens are going to be pretty large, actually. That could be problematic, right? Because the first token is going to be a 3-3, three, three, and they're going to make it at end of turn. The second token is going to be a 4-4, four, four, and then they're going to get another Mox in and be a 5-5. Five, five? Are we losing? Just to one Saga here? We might be losing to one Saga here. I guess I should just play a Fury then and um, attack with it. Then I'm going to die. Hmm. I, I kind of need the extra damage. I don't really have a lot of closing power. Because their Maddening Hex isn't good against them. Could be problematic. We have a Shivan Dragon though, right? Or not a Shivan Dragon, I shouldn't say that. We should have a Dragon that is from Shiv. That is not a Shivan Dragon. <laughs> they have the Seiju too. And a Tarmogoyf. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think, uh, I think I was wrong. I think one fury did not do it. Well, I think they'll hold the... Oh, God, maybe they won't hold the line. We are going to lose this game, I think. I should hold this mountain in case we draw a fable, right? Oh, my God, they're going to be so big. My opponent's deck can't be that bad, right? It's got Saga. The classic Saga Collector Roof deck. My favorite. Uh-oh. I, I do think we're, we have some problems here, though. Everything is bigger than a fury. Oh no. Maybe I'm supposed to bring in shenanigans. Did I did I know they had saga in their deck? Wish we had brought in some shenanigans instead of like these maddening hexes that don't look very good. I guess they don't look terrible, but they don't look very good. I guess we're gonna bring in shenanigans for game three. <laughs> They're coming in. Alright, so if I take this and go to nine and swing back, and it's six, ten. It's just so bad. I think it's better to just trade with this construct, and that way this construct becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, I drew Fable. Perfect. Good job holding the mountain. Well, now if they cast Vigor, at least it deals them 1 to 6 damage. 
That's so silly. Are you coming in? That's fine. I'll go take the 10. All right. So draw, and then I get a, a loot. I'm going to discard both of these. Okay. So this attack still looks terrible, right? They block the Ragavan, they take six, go to eight, and they swing back a chump. Maybe it's okay. I can start making blockers in two turns, which will be good. Yeah, I don't think we need to go attacking here. I think we just play all of our things, and that should make the board gummed up enough. I just don't think they have to play anything into Hex, so they probably won't. What is that? Really? Oh, shit. Treetop Village. All right. I will play another Hex just to make it so it's harder for them to cast things. Uh, all right, this is we we maybe we're coming back. Maybe we're making a comeback. I think we're making a comeback. I thought we would never come back, but we have so many two twos. <laughs> what is this game of Magic: The Gathering? Okay, we'll hold that. I think we don't, uh, if we, like, our attack is still bad, right? Like, we're making a Salmon and two, one, two, three, four, five, six Shamans, so it's not even lethal. And they block, and they block. Okay, I don't think this attack is good. So, we're still gonna wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, that was in the calculations as well. Uh, it's kind of bad, I guess, if they play a collector oof, maybe. All right, well, there's no reason for me not to make a Kiki Jiki reflection at the end of turn here. Okay, so what does this attack look like? This is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Technically a lethal attack, but they block three. I think I'm still off it. I guess we get to get a treasure for free, so let's do that. <laughs> Man, imagine if we had tokens. <laughs> what is this? What is going on? Are they standing up their treetop village to block? Oh, they're playing around Fury, I think. No, they are attached to my opponent. Doesn't look like they're attached to my opponent, but they are. Uh, okay. So next turn, I'm getting... I'm one ape away from a lethal attack, right? I'm pretty close. <laughs> uh... Oh, oh, does that win? Because I turn off their treetop village? Hold on. It might win. <laughs> I haven't done the math, but I think this is good for me. Because it doesn't, like, they can't, oh, no. Wait, wait, I guess they could, what does that do? Does that just, turn, just goes back to a mountain, right? Wait, it stays a creature? What? Uh, it's okay. It's fine. Next turn. Next turn. 
Uh, this is the most. This is the greatest game of vintage of all time, right? <laughs> oh boy. Yes, you have successfully blocked with your mountain treetop village. <laughs> oh boy. All right. What are they drawing? You think they're just drawing like a bunch of cinder vines they can't cast? Cinder vines can kill my reflection. That'd be brutal. All right, so what does this attack look like now? Is there any way this attack backfires? Besaidu is the one I'm thinking about. So if I make another thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have 18 damage. If they were to besage you, I think we can't lose here. Or maybe it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, both they get double Maddening Hex, right? So if they bolt, it's already going to do more damage, but I guess it could technically, if both rolled ones, they could stand up treetop and it's the same. So I don't think we do that. I think I just copy one of these and attack all. I guess if this doesn't work, we do lose for what whatever that's worth, but I don't know how this doesn't work, so. <laughs> well, they can't stand up treetop. It's a mountain. Endurance. Well, we can still beat endurance. We have nine attackers. All right. Wait, we had exactly lethal? Oh, yeah, we would lose to endurance. <laughs> Wait, no. Yeah, that must be what happened. Okay. I was wondering why my hexes went to the graveyard. It's because the player died. Okay, yeah. Um, If they had endurance, I would lose there. I don't know if I make that attack. I must have accounted uh, the Kiki Jiki twice by accident. <laughs> well then can't even see my next card okay that was probably my not my best attack okay let's do it round two got mage winning what do we got ah uh, that looks like a no go to me no turn one play that i mean we could technically go turn one soul ring chalice on one which is actually pretty good against mage winning typically blue player at heart um, and then slam a Magus. Damn. It's definitely tempting. I just think it's so bad. Not enough threats. Is that out of Fable? I think I want a mulligan. Well, that hand doesn't produce red mana. This is something I was definitely worried about. Hmm. Maybe we should add the third chrome box. No, I have like zero respect for Chalice on one. I mean, I could be wrong. I think Chalice is just really bad. I kind of don't, I kind of wish I had cut it like I said I would. Like, if that hand had an, a, a single other card, maybe. I just really am not convinced that Chalice on one is what is going to get me there. Okay. Well. I, uh... 
Except... This does... Maybe I'm supposed to lead Fable here. I could see that. Maybe I'm supposed to lead Fable. I just think that Magus is like the actual good spell though. Like what deck could my opponent play here where they're not going to care about this? Oh, all right. Shops. <laughs> what is that? Karn Silex enters the battlefield tapped. Players can't pay life to cast spells or to activate abilities that are not mana abilities. Exile it for th and uh, O-Ring. Oh my. Or not O-Ring. Uh, uh, Nivril's Disc. Well, not... Yeah, Destroy. Hmm. Interesting. But they don't have any mana. And I just drew a Ragavan. I see this card pop up in the most recent lists from uh, Y Prince. It's an interesting card. I feel like it's probably reasonable. It would be a lot more reasonable if my opponent had mana. But uh, currently they have mountains. Oh no! Wow, they have they either hit a mox off the top or held a mox. That's really bad for me. Yeah, well, now I'm in trouble. I'm going to get strip mined out of this game. I thought we were okay because my opponent wouldn't have the mana to activate that right away. But um turns out they had a pearl. And now we're in trouble. Normally, very hard for a uh, shop's opponent to remove a Magus of the Moon, but the, the Karn thing worked pretty well there. Expedition map, huh? Interesting. What? Oh, don't you want to crack your Expedition map? I guess you can do that anytime. All right, I don't think we're winning this game, for what it's worth. Uh, this probably gets, gets another saga, right? Pernicious deed? I only uh, won a Pro Tour invite with that card. Not, a, not, a, not, a, not that good. What'd they get? They got another saga, yeah. I can't imagine we can come back from this. Maybe. Maybe we can. What's in their hand? <laughs> These draws have not been uh, helpful in our quest to come back from this. I wonder if we do need to play... I mean, we have eight moons in the main. All right, let's go game two. I thought we were in a good spot, but the uh, the Silex was sick. All right, we're going to bring in Shenanigans and the Pig Purple Elephant. And then... Uh, actually, Maddening Hex is quite good against them. Actually, I think everything is quite good against them, right? Like, what am I even taking out in this matchup? True, true, true. I guess we don't probably need the Shivan Devastator. What else is, like, what else do we take out? No, we're going to keep Chalice in on zero on the play. Uh, I want, oh yeah, Trinosphere definitely comes out. Uh, Chalice on zero is good, though. Yeah, I guess Fury... We can trim Fury because they're not aggro shops. Hmm. Not sure. I guess we have Shenanigans and Pulverize, so maybe it's fine. I think I would have been... Would I have been better off in that game if I had led Fable? No, not really. This hand's quite good, though. So... Hmm. Hmm. I think I want to just play Magus. Which feels weird. Nah. Hmm. Hmm. I still think Magus is so good against them. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I still am just going to play this Magus. It's tempting to get a Ragavan in play. Because Ragavan's pretty decent against shops, but... Theoretically, like, as long as they, like, if they have a really heavy Moxin heavy hand, then the Magus is worse. But Magus is so good against their deck. Like, they had a, a Mana Vault last game, which was the reason the Magus didn't end up being bad or great. They have a Soul Ring Rufy. <laughs> no! Okay, am I going to get Strip Mine locked? No. I guess I couldn't get Strip Mine locked because they don't have any Strip Mines. Oh, wait, so this is still okay then. Um, the question is, I think I'm going to keep, I'm going to play a land. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep both lands, but I think it's fine. I think the mana is important. They just have no follow up, huh? Hmm. All right, I'm going to discard one land and keep a tomb. I think maybe they had a hand that was reliant on Saga. Mana Crypt. I don't really need a Mana Crypt. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play Mana Crypt. I guess if I get Karn, yeah, that wouldn't help me. Yeah, so they tried to play a Saga. <laughs> no! Worm Coil? Oh, no. All right. Well, now I need to draw shenanigans. Oh, my lord. Well, if they attack with the Worm Coil, I get to hit them with a Ragavan, I guess. Damn it. <laughs> I only have four cards that remove artifacts. Maybe I just need more cards that remove artifacts. I don't know. All right, they're going to wait until I get a shenanigans. Uh, I'm just going to play this. I'm going to hold these for... Um, for a fable. I mean, if I draw a shenanigans at this point, it does look really good, right? Just every turn shenanigans is probably good enough. <laughs> it's so good. Fable is got to be the best card in my deck. <laughs> I don't know. This card just seems great. I do lose to that Karns thing, don't I? Why do I get card selection in my red deck? Oh, I should have activated this Kiki thing. Whatever. Maddening Hex looks so good here, too. All right, what did I draw? I drew Land Land. It's not exactly ideal. Um, I'm just going to hold them, I think. I don't really need them. Actually, yeah, my opponent can't really swing. They can't really play spells. What's the Kiki Jiki in uh, not infinite, but I can make as many Kiki Jikis as I have mana, right? So I should have been playing these. I can end step Kiki Jiki as much as I have mana. So I think that should be lethal. Let's see what it look comes out to. I think that's how Kikis work, right? I haven't been playing a lot with this. Oh, I could have last turn. Oops. We all know my stream is the epitome of tight play. Okay, so if I were to attack 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. I mean, I'm just going to do two more for fun.
<laughs> this picture is going to be great. <laughs> Sorry, I jumped in front of the, the screen here. I wanted the picture so bad, though. This is, this is the easy Twitter farms. Babel is kind of unreal. Okay, so... Are we, yeah, Chalice can come out. And I think what I'll do is bring in Fury. I could needle and then ne I don't want to needle the Silex thing. I think it's just not worth it. I mean, maybe it's better than another Fury though. Uh, define viable. Mm, all right, I'm gonna bring in. I'll bring in a needle. That was the first time I've ever got to do that. That was pretty sweet. All right, I have a shenanigans. I don't know. Is this good enough? Let's find out together, chat. Oh, no. Not a chalice on zero. However, will I cast my spells? So I can actually play Maddening Hex this turn. Is it correct for me to actually play Maddening Hex this turn? Kind of think it is. Hex has not done very much. I'm just cast my turn one Hex anyways. <laughs> oh man, this is a basic island. I'm going to play... I'm, I still can't cast my shenanigans, but I, I think it's better for me to play these mountains out. Oh, no. It's Urza Saga. Oh, no. Urza Saga. <laughs> uh, I'm so sad. <laughs> How much damage did that uh, Hex do? Five? All right, how much? Six? Wait, six? <laughs> what? <laughs> now we're going to kill the Silex? Oh, my God. I feel so bad. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> my poor opponent. Yeah, I'll dredge back my shenanigans, I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess I don't have an actual thing. I have this in play to kill them. I legitimately have a clock. <laughs> They're gonna die, die, die. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> My poor opponent is back to get furied again. Keep. Anti-rush. Am I currently being wind traded? Nope. Nope. Haven't seen him in a while. Knock on wood. But uh, maybe if we just play against Absorbent 3 a bunch of times. Oh, God. Are we getting a collector roof here? All right, unfortunately, I'm going to have to Fury that bad boy.
I think I'm going to pitch the Blood Moon. Well, no, they have Sagas in their deck. We know they have Sagas in their deck. Let's just pitch the Spirit Guide. I guess I technically don't have to kill the Collector Roof. I could just play my Ragavan, but... I kind of want to hit him with a Ragavan this turn, so... Uh, I want to hit him with the Ragavan. I want my own root maze. No, Besaidu. I could be wrong. I'm willing to admit that maybe I was supposed to go Mountain Ragavan Pass. That seems reasonable to me. I got sucked in by the, the Ragavan value. Yeah. Now I could have gotten a two for one, too. Yeah, I guess I messed up. I don't know. I was, uh, this is, maybe this is why I hate Ragavan. I just, I get lured in. Yeah, all right, fine. I messed up. It's fine. You know what? That just means we get to play more games with our friend. It's okay. We're good. I do think we're actively losing this game right now because of that play, though. Or whatever that's worth. It's fine. We'll just draw another Fury or a Fable. Oh, no. Rude. Should I play a Blood Moon to try to get him to crack it? Nah, I'll just play the Fable. Oh, I guess that puts an enchantment in my yard, which makes this Tarmogoyf super big. That's a problem. Uh, yeah, actually, maybe I will just lose this game because I played too aggressively. I don't know why I felt like I had to do that. I did feel it, though. It was It was deep in my bones. Oh, my. Oh, that's true. That's true. You're right. I don't think we're going to beat this Tarmogoyf. Don't think we're going to do it. Yeah, I really played this game poorly. It's unfortunate. Maybe if I draw Fury... Oh, they drew Strip Mine. Wow. Okay. I mean, that got a, a creature to their graveyard. I rolled a five on my Maddening Hex. <laughs> oh, boy. I guess I didn't play around Pyrostatic Pillar with this stuff. Hmm. Well, our first, uh, and I guess it's not our first loss of the night. Is it our first loss of the night? <laughs> At least we can board correctly now. Their, their pyrostatic pillar hit them. How do I beat Tarmogoyf? It's too strong. Damn. Okay. All right. I threw that game. I don't know if we would have won anyways, but it definitely would have been a lot closer. Uh, I'm going to bring in all those shenanigans because we know that they play creatures and we can just take out... Um, well, I guess Trinisphere and Chalice are good. What were we taking out before? We were taking out Maddening Hexes? Or were we just taking out Blood Moons? What did we take? What did we say we wanted to take out? We didn't take out anything. I mean, like, they do have a lot of spells, actually. My opponents have uh, Urza Saga tokens. Maybe I just, maybe I'll just bring in two. I mean, I'm already pre-boarded. I have four Furies in my main. Keep. So 
So the question becomes, do we play Fable and Magus, or do we play Ragavan and Fable? Oh, I guess we uh, no, we have six mana, don't we? Am I crazy? That's uh, six mana, and I would need seven mana to play all three. They do have Vigor. We got Vigored by them in round one. Lightning Bolt on my Magus. Okay. And... Chalice on one. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will discard my Ragavan. This is... They got me. I guess theoretically, if they play Collector Roof, I will not be able to cast this Fury, but. Oh my god, we can Fable Fury? Alright, never mind. <laughs> we're, we're cooking. Alright, they Collector Roofs themselves. We no longer can play Fury until we draw a red spell. Just gonna attack them though. Fable is nuts. The card is unreal. Uh oh. Okay. All right, red card or red mana. Okay. Oh my god, we just killed our whole board, don't we? Oh my god. I'm not even sure that's correct, but I'm doing it. <laughs> that's so gross. <laughs> it's probably correct. I don't know, freeing up their mana so they can make a saga token for no reason. But six damage is probably worth it, so. All right, we got game two. Shouldn't have thrown game one, man. What was I thinking? Oh, boy. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I heard Urza Saga is really broken. Maybe Urza Saga can win the game. People said it needs to be restricted, so... What do I know? I'm just a, a mountain player. I don't know this... I don't know how powerful that card is. Ugh. 
Oh no, this hand is no bueno. No shot. Try again. I'd like a Fury. Uh, gosh, is this going to be good enough? Why do I still have Chalice in my deck? We played Chalice on two. <sighs> so I put the Shanigans away. No, if I put a City of Traders away and I go Mountain, Soul Ring, I don't know. It just doesn't seem good, right? I guess I can just pitch the Chalice if it's bad, unless they kill my Fable. These hands just seem so weak. There are just like so few cards in my deck that are like the best cards in my deck for this matchup are Fable and Fury. Let's just try this. Yeah, but I actually don't think this matchup is about casting things on turn one. Like a lot of matchups are about casting things on turn one. and I'm not convinced that this one is. Well, now we're casting things on turn one. Can we legitimately win this game if I play a, a mana crypt? Uh, are we going to die before I get to that point? I mean, I think it's just worth it. No, I used the red mana. All right, I guess we're playing Chalice on two now. <laughs> I used the red mana. Oh, it's okay. This will bait their Force of Vigor. There's caverns in this deck? I thought there were... They're just going to play it through my Chalice. Okay, sure. <laughs> well, now I can't shenanigans by Mana Crypt. I put a Chalice on two. Oh, they killed the Chalice on two! Yes! I outplayed. The outplay is... I, I did it. I did it. <laughs> I did it. It was worth it. I guess they had more Tarmogoyves. <laughs> I baited so I didn't lose my Fable. Oh my lord, everything is... Everything is going great. Wait, I don't have any more red sources. Hmm. No, I will have a red source. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no, I have to play my Magus first. God, I'm just playing so badly tonight. Sorry, chat. Uh, my bad. I don't know why I'm doing this. I just keep playing everything wrong. Alright, I'm gonna slow down. I'm not even drinking tonight. Uh, I'm just playing- Oh no! This is gonna get rid of my shenanigans! I can't dredge it anymore. I need to reboot Justin for sure. Wait, so they killed my chalice so that they could play Scavenging Ooze? Is that really worth it? Stage Fright? Yeah, maybe. It's not like I've been doing this for a couple of years now. <laughs> it's okay, now, uh... Hmm. Alright, I kind of... I'm so worried about this Mana Crypt. Like, I want to get rid of Mox and Shenanigans so that I can get two new cards. It's probably still correct. <laughs> I mean... Just shrink your Tarmogoyf to grow your scavenging ooze. Interesting. Yeah, I mean Fury is is the one for sure. <sighs> I 
I'm just gonna take this. Eventually I'll be able to make a token blocker. Uh that's so bad for me. I play I, if I had played this game correctly, I don't think we could have lost, but right now I am not sure. Well, that's pretty good for me. I can't play it though because of the collector roof. But maybe they'll attack with the collector roof. No! They drew a lightning bolt off the top and cast it with their mountain because of my Magus. I can't believe that. Uh, all right. I'm going to lose to this mana crypt because I played so badly. Oh, this is so bad. It's my own fault. The chalice worked out really well, though, because this fable would never have even gotten to that point. Come on, just get an attack in here. I need... Uh, okay. So... I block here. And I take... They're still going to be able to make this thing a four... F so I take two... Seven and go to five. But then I can only kill Scavenging Ooze. But at least I can kill Scavenging Ooze, I guess. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. It's pretty frustrating. I think we were good until my opponent topped like the bolt, right? Because we would have still been able to play. Uh, we wouldn't have been able to play Fury. Hmm. We would have been able to make the bolt was just so brutal. I'm gonna die to the mana crypt like I said I was gonna at the very beginning of this game because I couldn't use my shenanigans on it. I'm just going to die to this mana crypt. <laughs> yeah. All right. I lost pretty bad. It's my own fault. I threw both games one and three. Oh, we were not winning this game. I threw one and three real bad in this one. All right, here we go. Let's try to play a little bit tighter. Um, this looks like a keeper. Ragavan doing its best pitch to chrome box. Okay, workshops. On the draw against workshops, this could be challenging, especially if Maddening Hex isn't good. So, like, if they're playing an aggro workshop, this deck is this this hand looks really bad against an aggro workshop draw. See what they've got for us here. Trinosphere. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. Kind of hope I draw like Ancient Tomb or Mountain or something. Kind of need a land. Um. Hmm. I might concede. I 
I'll I'll pitch a a a, a jet. I think there's uh, I just, I want to see if my opponent is on aggro or uh, prison shops, but I think this is just a lost game. I don't think I want to show them what exactly I'm doing. Because if they're aggro or prison, it will be how many Furies I play. Oh, are they combo shops? Or are they KCI? Maybe they're jewel shops? All right. Well, we're not going to get anything more from them. I'm going to say they're probably jewel shops, though they could technically be KCI still. We're going to bring... Oh, God. If we knew we could bring in Pyroblast. We probably are just supposed to bring in Pyroblast. And then take out Fury and take out Shivan and take out Trinisphere and take out one Blood Moon. Hmm. Uh, Maddening Hex should be quite good against them. Though I guess it doesn't get to hit Metamorph. Uh, yeah, this is fine. I wonder if I'm supposed to pitch... If I pitch shenanigans to Chrome Mox, I can go turn one Magus, turn two Fable, which I think is good. Yeah, Minx is Boo is insane. It's a four four haste trampler, and then on the next turn, it does another four damage haste trampler, and then you throw it for another four damage and draw four cards. It's crazy. So the problem with pitch Simeon Spirit Guide is. I kind of want to go Magus into Fable. But... Maybe... I cannot do it. If I play a Magus of the Moon... Oh, I will have three mana. Wait, what am why? I'm just so alpha tonight. Sorry, chat. I don't know what's going on exactly. I don't I don't know what's going on. I had caffeine today. Just playing really bad. Don't know. Can't do basic math. There's just no downside to this line. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, turn their three mana land into a one mana land. Okay, so it definitely... Well, I still don't know which kind of shops it is. I think I'm gonna just kill the Mox Ruby. And uh, hold up in Pyro. Ten turns, ten turn clock. Okay, you have another mountain. Nice. 
I'm not going to dredge back shenanigans. Ooh, that was a draw right there. That was a draw. Kind of wish we had a fable so we could start playing more than one spell, but... Maybe I should play a fable so I can play this with uh, Pyro backup, actually. I think there's a legitimate chance... I don't think there's like a huge chance we die on the next turn. And I think that the Hex will be game-winning if we can have uh, for backup for Force of Will. I wonder if my opponent... My opponent probably did not bring in Dismember. Oh, so they got they force of willed. Yeah, so it is jewel shops. They force of willed. So yeah, I, mean, I had a good read there. So I just need to draw a mana source next turn that I can use. And then I can play hex with blast back up. And then I think we'll be in good shape. It kind of felt Yeah, I mean we have to resolve this though. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Remodel. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Mox Opal? Uh-oh, am I actually dying? They have Pio up. I really want to hold up Blast. Maybe I should just dredge back the shenanigans, and then when they go to Pio, I just hit them with a Blast. Oh, they didn't actually have PO. Interesting. I guess there's really no reason not to PO on your turn if you didn't have it. But I still am not sure if I wanted to play Hex. Feels like really hard to lose if I just have Blast up. Like, what if they tinkered, right? I'm just going to do it again. I should not be using my mocks in case they dismember me. This is really bad. I just, I just don't know why I, like, I miss, I'm missing all of the small details tonight. I need to be using my two colorless lands so I can hold up blast if they dismember me. Just really silly. I kind of don't want to show them Maddening Hex unless I have to. Um... Hmm. I was hoping to draw a mana source, but I guess they have a mana crypt in play. I don't really need to make it. Isn't Karn more likely? No? Well, if maybe one is a zero and one is a one, then yes. But if they brought in dismembers, then no. Six is kind of an awkward number. Kind of needed... I guess it's fine. It would have been better if it's one less, right? But maybe in that case, I'm supposed to play Maddening Hex because then uh, it would kill them. Okay. I didn't have to show them Maddening Hex, so that's nice. Um. Yeah, I think we just run it back. Um, yeah. This hand certainly isn't going to be a turn one kill from them. We don't have any Mind Break Traps in our sideboard, which we could have chose to do. I chose not to put any in my sideboard. Um, we're definitely super unfavored in uh, games where we're on the draw. They're just, they have so much more power, and they can just easily find a turn one kill. Not easily, but that's what, like, what they should be looking for is a turn one kill.
So they went to five. Let's see what they came up with. Workshop plus. Mana Grimana. So now they'll probably have three dismembers in their deck. Oh my lord. Okay. So we don't turn off a jewel by playing a Mox Monkey or by playing a Magus. So we can actually play a Hex though. So that was a pretty crazy draw, right? Yeah, it's always been a 50-50 split, so it's not a huge deal to me. If I really cared about the money, probably would move to YouTube, right? All right, they're going for it. They're going to try to combo through Hex. For now, my, uh, Twitch is just better to get people, get eyes on the stream, so... I think Hex was better than Moon there, but I'm starting to doubt myself. <laughs> Twitch currently is the smallest of the content creator revenue streams for me anyways, which is kind of wild, seeing I've been on here the longest. Do they have a Sphinx? I make more on YouTube and more on Patreon than I do on Twitch, yeah. Twitch, you just make no money. Like, I don't, you know, ask for a lot of subs or anything either, so, like, that's part of it, but... I also don't stream that much. I stream like what? One, I stream two, sometimes three times a week, right? So it's not like I'm doing a lot of streaming. I technically uploading more YouTube videos than I am streaming. Only one damage from that hex roll. No, thanks. Appreciate it. What? Come on, Hex. You need to do better. Hex has not been as friendly as it was the first time. There are one! I think that's game, right? <laughs> yes yes from 20 to 0 baby <laughs> this card's sick <laughs> from 20 to 0 alright here we go fifth and final round of this maddening hex league uh, we would have even been fighting for a trophy here if I had played to the even just a normal level. Uh, but it's okay. This deck has been forming really well, and we've had some really interesting matches. So this hand's great. Keep. So, like, I definitely... I don't know. So I thought it was Mosquitoes because my old house was, like, kind of very bad. <laughs> like I would not uh, be surprised if there were holes in the screens and the windows and everything um, so I like kind of assumed it was something to do with the old house but the question is what is SO63 playing and which of these turn one plays makes the most sense I guess we can play a Magus of the Moon and still play a Fable on turn two because we have a spirit guide so Let's go for Magus of the Moon. 
Magus of the Moon also is the best card uh, at beating a Vigor Hand. Uh, not usually. The most recent ones were. Um, but usually it's just kind of random. Saga Gamer. Uh-oh. Hope they have another force. <laughs> I love Urza Saga! It's my favorite card. Please, everyone, continue to play this card. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Concede! Concede! They didn't have a fetch land to beat Moon. Alright, so I think it's probably Esper Tinker. Um, could theoretically be a, you know, some, some other version of that. The question here is actually pretty difficult, and that is how do we board? And I don't know the answer. Um, I, I think it probably is some number of Pyroblast. But I don't know how many and I don't know what comes out. Maybe we just like take out a Shivan Dragon and we... Like I like all of our enchantments against this deck. Uh, they should all be really strong. Um... Ragavan has a lot of good hits, so I think you want to keep Ragavan. It's possible we just trim two Furies because they're not a lot of targets. How does this deck beat Oka? We have three Pyroblasts. What? We have Fury. We have Shivan Devastator. How does Oka beat Shivan Devastator? I don't really know if we want shenanigans. Like, we do care about Saga tokens. So maybe instead of Fury, like if I got, if I cut all my Furies, then like aren't we running out of ways to win? Maybe. But maybe we don't need ways to win because we're locking them with Fable, Hex, Mag Magus. Like their deck doesn't have that many answers. Actually, if they're white, they have Prismatic Ending, which is really annoying. Um. I, we have eight. We have eight Maguses. <laughs> we have eight Moons. Saga is a joke. Like, my opponent can't keep hands with Saga. They have to keep Fetchland hands. They've mulled a five already. All right. Saga hand with blue mana. So if they have a force, they get... I mean, they get to play on either way, but... They kind of need a force for my Blood Moon, right? They did not shuffle. Oh, they hit... No, this is really good. This is like... Oh, wow. That's really, really good for them. Having um, Pearl and Sapphire on color, that's just the best. Interesting. So if I were to play this... Th I can't play both. Because I need too many red pips, right? Yeah, I would need three red pips, so I can only do mountain three, four, five. Okay, so I will just play. Um, I will just play mountain crypt, blood moon. Yeah, I mean this is really good for them, but they still have to battle through with no saga, so. But this means that if they play a real land, then they can actually Prismatic Ending this if they want to. Uh, which is really annoying, for sure.
We're about to start playing some monkeys. That's so good. Um, hmm. I don't know how many of these... I can probably get away with playing a land. I'm trying to figure out if I want to hold this land for Fable, but I think we want to have one more land in play for Hardcast Fury. <laughs> they roll a six! They did, they took eight life from Gataxian Probe? Wait, no. Yeah, they took six life from Gataxian Probe because they paid mana for it. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. Oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. We just lose, huh? We didn't hit shenanigans. That's so unfortunate. They hit they just naturally drew Volt Key. Alright, well I'm gonna make them have a creature or something. They don't have to cast spells, do they? Can't they just have a creature? Well, Mentor doesn't do it, because I can block. I did. I, I got punished for not playing the Simeon Spirit Guide, huh? No, they don't have two Snapcasters in their deck. They have... They're, they're playing Esper Saga. They could have Mentor Lavinia, though. Pressuring them makes the Maddening Hex more likely to kill. Oh, they just have a Sphinx. I asked them what the plan was. They can just draw until they hit a uh, Jet Sphinx. Yeah, they said Jet Sphinx. Okay, that's good enough for me. Can't die to Jet? Why can't they die to Jet? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. It's a 50-50, right? It's exactly an average an average roll. Why can't I just always yield through this? Do I F8? F8 maybe? Isn't 3.5 the average on each one? How do I... Is there any way I can totally yield, chat? Well, if they have two Lavinias, I just died a Lavinia. I think they just have a mentor in their deck, right? Like, what are we doing here?
Oh, they misclicked through. Uh... I still don't even have a kill. I'm just going to let them keep going. I still think they should just have Mentor, but I asked them how they were going to win, and they said Jet, jet Sphinx. Well, all right, I'll just concede to that. That's That should have beat me. I'm about to say, like, I think they have enough creatures that it's fine. Um, anyways. I don't... I don't think I'm going to change any board plan here. I think it was just pretty unlucky. They mold to five, they just naturally hit both full key pieces, so... It's just a, it's a vintage league, and I can't even, you know... There's nothing to play for. <laughs> Uh, this hand doesn't work. Okay, this is, this is keepable. Oh, I needed that. Oh, wait, is this hand keepable? Oh, it's too late, I kept it. I guess we just go Mountain Chalice on zero and then play Magus. I oh, definitely want a chalice here, like... Chalice is definitely still good here. Well, my opponent didn't cast any- like, they didn't cast Tinker. They didn't ca they didn't resolve a Saga. They- they cast a single Ponder and then played Volky. <laughs> you know? Like... The Natty Island is pretty powerful. The no fetch Natty Island. I mean, I think that's just variance. Like, it's two singleton restricted, well, not restricted, but it's two singletons, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't think you can get, like, that's going to happen sometimes. This deck can play Null Rod. I have played Null Rod in this deck before. I don't think we're winning this game, but we'll see what happens. I just passed back, and they had a second Lavinia, so they would have won, so... They have the Soul Ring. <laughs> why? Why? Uh, this basic island's probably gonna kill me. Is this just Tinker? Okay, I'm just gonna die to Sphinx here. We just have, like, actual zero outs to a Sphinx. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Um, yeah. I mean, if they're gonna have Tinker, they're gonna have Tinker. No, we don't have a bridge. Pretty hard to get under a bridge. I guess we, like, theoretically could do something like that, but... Alright. Probably could have 4-1, but, like, again, playing against Absorbent 3 is definitely not a normal uh vintage outing so um i don't I, it just feels like really weird to have a card that i don't know i don't, I don't think that's like a powerful card to have in staring bridge
Um, so what do we think? I don't know. It does all the same things, and Hex definitely felt like an upgrade. Like, Hex definitely won a couple games that I normally would not have won. Like, if Hex was Lelia, we would have lost multiple games of Magic, right? So... Definitely liked Hex. It is pretty awkward in this deck, because this deck is built to play colorless cards. But, um... Hmm... We were never really beating a Tinker Draw without bla uh, Blast, right? So it's not like... Not like we could have done that much about it. Theoretically, we could get a misstep in here. Yeah, I don't know. I, bringing a Singleton Cage in just doesn't feel like something that has a lot of value. Like, we have Fable, yes, but I still would like to have all four ofs in my non-blue deck. So, I don't know. Like, I have, like have four artifact things, have four combo things, have eight things. I, I mean, Hex definitely helps in some matches where this deck does struggle, though. Right, Ian? Like, I, I, do, I do think that Hex markedly approves the, the combo-oriented matchups. Mm, I don't know. Like, we didn't play against a very wide subset of decks, right? We didn't play against Bizarre. We only played against one blue deck. I don't really think it was representative of a of an average field. Uh, maybe. I was just trying to, like... You saw how often we had tons and tons of mana, so I was trying to have a card that scales and doesn't have red-red. Yeah, I'm not sure if, like... Our, our bizarre matchup is okay because we have like four moon, uh, eight moons, and then a pile of extra stuff. Like, it, maybe it's fine. It's possible. Like, you probably bring in shenanigans to kill Hollow One, and then it's maybe it's actually reasonable. Like, I just thought Shivan Dragon would be the Shivan Devastator would be the, the way to close a game. We didn't ever draw it, so I don't, I, don't, I still don't even know. Like, theoretically, we can have another Chrome Mox, we can, you know, change mountains around. Um, like there's a lot of there's a lot of options. I just don't know if any of them solve like core deck issues. The big problem of like Tinker is just so much more powerful than this is an issue. So you could. Uh, I'll, I'll answer after, actually. Um, yeah, I don't know. This deck is interesting. I really like enjoy playing these decks for some reason, even though obviously I piloted them pretty poorly today. They have some really just fun things end up happening when you play them, which is which is sweet. Um, thank you to Avalon for loaning hexes for this video. And uh, thanks everyone for hanging out and watching. New videos go up on my YouTube channel every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. See you then.